This is Dave Lee's amazing reveal from Tesla Investor Day, a secret that will change the auto industry as we know it. If Dave is right, then Tesla is ready to start using robotics to automate the manufacturing process from start to finish and 1,000x Tesla's productivity. Everything from design and planning to quality control will be forever changed when it comes to making a fully functional vehicle. But what happens when a revolutionary company like Tesla decides to change the rules? In this video, we'll look at Tesla's next generation vehicle platform, which promises to change the way cars are put together using humanoid robots in an unboxed process. Tesla wants to make the process of putting together cars faster and easier for everyone. We'll also look at some leaked information about Tesla's upcoming Gigafactory in Mexico and what it means for the company's commitment to cost cutting and technology progress. Strap in and let's dive into the exciting world of making cars, but first hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up. Tesla has said they want to change the way cars are put together. Usually different parts are stamped out and then stuck to a body, which is then sprayed and all the parts are put together carefully at the end. Tesla shared a video of this process and said they were going to change it for their next generation of cars. Tesla wants to paint different parts of the car separately and then put them together in different stations. This way, more people could work on each step of the assembly process. To make this happen, Tesla has created an unboxed process where different parts of the car are painted separately and then put together in different stations. The cars are then put together like Lego pieces in the final assembly, which is mostly done by robots. This new process is expected to be more efficient, getting rid of steps that were not needed in the earlier process. Tesla is working on the basic ideas of how to make a car better, but they can't get humanoid robots into the car to put all the wires and parts together. If Tesla can separate the car into sections, humanoid robots will be able to fully access each section and assemble the car. This would allow Tesla to use humanoid robots much earlier in the assembly process than they could before. This new process could change the future of car assembly and make it more efficient and accessible for everyone. This would make the old way of making cars completely obsolete. In the old way of doing things, the first step is design and planning. The car company makes a blueprint or a computer generated model of the car and carefully plans out the materials, tools, and equipment that will be needed to build it. The next step is stamping, which involves using big hydraulic presses to shape metal sheets into the shape that is wanted. This process makes the doors, hood, trunk, and other body panels that give the car its unique look. At the welding stage, the stamped body parts are welded together exactly and consistently to make the frame of the car. The step needs to be done accurately and consistently, so robots are often used to do it. The next step is painting. The body of the car is cleaned, prepared, and painted in several coats to get the color and finish that the owner wants. The paint job on a car is very important because it's often the first thing people notice. During the building stage, the engine, transmission, suspension, and other mechanical parts of the car are put into the frame. Inside the car, things like the seats, dashboard, and driving wheel are also fitted. Quality control is very important to make sure the car meets the safety and quality standards set by the maker. Following a series of tests and inspections to make sure everything is in order, the finished cars are sent to dealerships or distributors to be sold after passing the quality control stage. It's amazing to see how a car goes from a blueprint to a fully functional vehicle ready to hit the road. This process has been standard for the past 10 years since cars were first made, but Tesla has suggested a better way to do it. Fun fact, Tesla makes a brand new Tesla every 30 seconds at their Giga Shanghai facility. That's crazy. One of the best things about Tesla's next generation vehicle platform is that it's a genius idea for both efficiency and a smooth transition for humanoid robots to help with the assembly process. The platform lets the robots access every part of the car, which will greatly reduce the cost of labor. Some may wonder why Tesla didn't say that the platform is meant for humanoid robots. The company's plan is to slowly give the robots responsibility for certain jobs and then gradually give them more tasks to do. Eventually, the robots should be able to do the whole assembly job without any help from a person. At Tesla's Investor Day, the company showed off a number of other innovations, including leaked information about its new Gigafactory in Mexico. According to Governor Samuel Garcia of Nueva Leon, Tesla will spend $5 billion to build the factory just outside of Monterey in Santa Catarina. The factory will employ up to 7,000 people and could start making cars as soon as next year. It's not clear if the factory will also make semiconductors and software. Tesla's next generation car, not the Model 3 or Model Y. According to another Tesla bull, who told investors on Investor's Day that production was moving along faster with Sandy Monroe. Sandy has worked. In the auto industry for a long time and can often see things that regular people like you and me can't. After Investor Day, Tesla took part in the post-presentation group. Here are the top secrets Sandy saw at Sandy Monroe, who is twice as old as the average person on the post-Investor Day panel, thinks that Tesla will destroy the rest of the auto business for one main reason. There is no one stopping Elon Musk from running Tesla as long as he stays in charge, According to Sandy, Sam Koros was also. On the panel, 
And he said that most people wanted a picture of the small car, but what investors got instead were three hours of information about how Tesla will make this car bigger and sell it for $25,000. Corey Sandy's helper brought up three important points. Design of the car battery powertrain, and most companies don't bother with manufacturing because it doesn't add much to the cost, but Tesla does. Tesla is determined to learn how to make a lot of cars faster than any other car maker. The talk that Tesla gave was very detailed. Pierre Fargu, a Wall Street analyst, said that institutional investors don't know enough about Tesla. The problem is that these investors are responsible for someone else's money, so they need to be able to clearly understand what a company is doing in order to invest in it. He also said that the compact car will be a smaller version of the Model 3 and will look and be made in a much simpler way. Sandy Monroe also said that people won't want to buy a Pontiac when they can spend $25,000 on a high-tech Tesla small. Sandy also brought up something Tesla didn't bring up the motor of the car for Sandy. By using a hairpin approach, Tesla engines will be 30% more powerful and cost 30% less. This is huge news. If you watch the video from Investor Day, you can see how the hairpins are being welded together. Sandy Monroe was sworn to secrecy and said that this was a big deal that Tesla showed on the videos during Investor Day. The governor also said that Tesla executives told him that the Mexico factory could become the company's biggest and that it would make cars and batteries over time. Interestingly, Tesla could double or triple its initial investment, which shows how committed the company is to the project. Tom Zhu, who runs Tesla's factories, told the governor that the company wants to build the Mexico factory faster than its Shanghai factory, which started making cars in just over a year. The governor's willingness to share these facts shows that he did not sign an NDA with Tesla in general. Tesla's new Gigafactory in Mexico and innovative next-generation vehicle platform show that the company is committed to cost-effectiveness and scientific progress. Thanks for coming along on this trip through how cars are made and Tesla's innovations. It's exciting to see how this industry is always changing and getting better. Tesla is at the forefront of that change with their next-generation vehicle platform and upcoming factory in Mexico. They keep pushing the limits of what's possible and who knows what other game-changing innovations they have in store for us in the future. Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and stay tuned.